Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. I just wanted to say a quick word about how much I'm really enjoying working with Umbraco V9. I've been taking part in 100 Days of Code recently, and I've been doing my own spin on that with 100 Days of Umbraco. And part of doing that, I've been testing out some of the packages for Umbraco V9, just so I can see what's ready for V9, um, what's missing from the set that I would normally use uh, when working with Umbraco. And I'm really happy to say that all of the packages that I would want to use in an Umbraco site that I would normally use like in a V8 project when I'm starting a new project, all of the packages that I would use are actually available now in Umbraco V9, uh, ready for the release. So uh, let's have a look and I'll just talk you through some of these packages that I'm excited about and just show you what they do. Uh, just a quick overview if you've never heard of them and what your use cases could be for them. And let's just have a look. So um, with Umbraco 9, I'm using the command line interface and I'm just doing .NET run in my project. I'm using a Windows terminal here so I can click on this URL and that will take me to the uh, page loading. Um, what I've done recently is I've been able to create myself a starter kit for V9, which I'm really happy with how easy it was to do in terms of generating a site and pulling and processing the package files with all the content and media and everything so that when you actually add the package and it installs it with everything you need so it's much easier to do before you used to have to go th jump through a lot of hoops to get that to work so on v9 it's a much better experience for creating the package so this is the starter kit that i created just a simple one but what I've added to this uh, site is some of the uh, popular packages for V9 that are, are out. So one of the must-haves is Usync. So there's Usync and Usync Complete. If you want to know what packages are available for V9, you can go to Packages, and then you can go to View More, and then you can click on See More there, and then you can click on uh, Version 9. And it's great to see the packages that I want to use. So Usync. Uh, this one won the award as the best overall package recently. Uh, so if you go into here, we've got Usync installed, and it's just you could do a, a full export like that. Yes, run a clean export and look at it. It just goes through, and it and everything you can think of that you'd need to uh, put into version control to export and import into another environment, it can do that. Contact media settings and everything. So let's let that run. Uh, let's have a look at what else there is. So uh, the uh, next one that I have decided is a must have is Contentment, another package award winner. And Contentment, what that does, while this runs, I'm just going to see, hopefully I won't break anything, but I'm going to go off and just have a look at this. So if I go into data types and I go to one that I created, I didn't actually call it a name, but um, what I've got here is just a set of buttons so if I call this um, traffic lights, the beauty of this um, is, so this is just one of the things that you can do with contentment, and that is you can use a data list. So um, you can define what the, let's have a look, you can define what the text is that you're gonna display and what the value is that you want. And you can also do it with an icon, and even you can do it with a description underneath as well. So what you could do here is, um, or you can then choose a display. So what I want to do is I want to actually do a large, you can choose the different um, types of display. And I'm sure there was one way you could actually show underneath it, you can show the description with it as well. Uh, but have a play with that. It's one of my favorite packages. Um, then the dashboard again is a must have when you install in a new package. You get the uh, dashboard welcome screen here. It just gives you some useful information. And um, instead of having the getting started where it's got what could possibly be distracting content here, it's just simple dashboard just with relevant things for you. So that's ready for V9 as well. Um, and then we've got editor notes. This is a good package. And what you can do on editor notes is you can create notes for the uh, editor. Uh, as it says in the tin, uh, but basically you can put in some content about this next few properties that you're editing just so they can read a bit more. Maybe you need to add a bit more of an explanation for it. 
So rather than just using a label, you can add color and styles and things like that to it. And you can make it collapsible or open out. So that's another great package. Um, then along here, I've not tested out these ones yet, but I have tested out Slack health check notifications. That works great on V9. Our Braco user to do's, I've uh, created this one. This was just me testing out the ability to, um, there's a new user dashboard. So this section here has been made available. So what we can do here is I'm just going to do this, uh, do that. And then you can tick them off or not or delete them. So it's just a simple uh, to do list. Uh, but also, if you wanted to, you could paste in like a link and then you could have that in your um, you could have a link there that you can click on that you leave on there and it'll always stay there. So maybe you have some frequent links that you want to visit. You can paste in the HTML for the link and it will render there. So you can click on that. So that one, it's not a must have. It's just a new package that I created. But what's really good about um, V9 is it was really easy to create that package. I learned from Kevin Jump and the community videos that I did about how to package it up with the content. And Mark Goodson showed me how to not include a DLL because that one's just an app data, an app plugin only. So have a look um, at the project for that and you'll see how you can just create a package which just got app plugins, yet they can still be installed via uh, the .NET app pack, ad package. Um, what else have we got? Um, yeah, we've got the Bergmania OpenStreetMap. That comes with the default start kit. That, that looks really good. So allowing you to do free um, maps on your site using the OpenStreetMaps. Hot, Hot Chili Page Not Found Manager. This is a good package as well that's all, also ready. And I think I'm going to use this on my projects going forward. So I've, this site doesn't really uh, work with content pages or anything yet. It's just certain structure. But what I've done is I've used one of these project pages as a page not found. And then um, what we can do now is if I can just do slash blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to show that page not found. And the way you do it is you just do uh, you can right click on the home node, manage 404 page and you can choose the page that you want to render as your page not found. Really easy. So that's a great package for you. Um, yeah, portfolio starter kit. That's the starter kit that I'm displaying here. But there's still also the default starter kit that you can add. And installing packages is really easy as well. You just in the command line, you can just paste that in .NET add package and then whatever the name of the package is. At the moment, we're in release candidate. So we'll do dash dash release uh, pre-release. And that installs it and then you do build and, and uh, .NET run and you launch the site. So, yeah, I'm really excited about Umbraco 9. Um, I'm looking forward to starting my first client project in Umbraco 9 when it comes out officially. And, um, yeah, I just can't wait, really. Anyway, um, I hope you liked the video and I hope you like Umbraco V9. I'll see you later. Bye.